Hello, this is Patrick with Royas, and today I'll be teaching you a few ways of using the singleton pattern in Godot. First, I've got a inseam singleton and a singleton collar, and then I've got an auto load singleton down here. To get the auto load singleton working, you go to project settings, you go to auto load, you select the node, and then you can choose the auto load singleton.cs file, and then you can name it over here, and I'm going to name this game manager. After I've named it, I can press add and it adds it like that. So that'll create a node that'll stay and never get deleted. So I'm going to go to my singleton caller here and I'm going to delete everything in my auto load singleton and just do a public int score. So this, you could use this if you wanted to track your score between scenes or whatever. And then in my singleton caller, I'm going to go a private auto load singleton.cs or uh, auto load singleton game manager. And then game manager is going to be equal to get node auto load singleton. And then it's going to place these singletons in the exact same place. It's going to be in the root game manager. And then that's it or whatever you named it. And then all you got to do to access its data is go game manager dot score. And that'll get the score from it. So I'm going to run that here. And as you can see, I got a thousand back, which is correct. Perfect. So now I'm going to teach you how to do an in scene singleton. So to do that, you're going to go public static, and then you're going to type the C uh, class name. So in scene singleton, and then I'm going to name it instance. And then I'm going to say if instance isn't equal to null. So if there's another version of this in the scene, then I am going to destroy this one by going Q free and then I'm going to return. After that, I'm going to go instance is equal to this. So that'll set it. So if anything else spawns after this, it'll create it. Now I'm going to go public int player health and set that equal to 10. And then I'm going to go over to the singleton caller and type gd.print. And then all I have to do is type the class name. So in scene singleton dot instance dot player health, and that'll get the data back. I'm going to run it here, and I've got an error. So the thing that happened here is the singleton caller ran before the in-scene singleton. So if I just uh, child this in-scene singleton to the singleton caller, that'll fix the issue. So I dragged it down there and ran it again. Perfect. I've got both values back.